Hey folks. Hi. I'm Ronald D. Capel. I operate the DDP, Deep Dementia Productions, because dementia alone is no fun. Deep Dementia is with an I, not a D-E. I use because dementia alone is no fun as an addition this year because in the past I dealt with my grandpa's uh, medical onset dementia which was scary but beautiful. I've been a CNA and a mental health tech in the past and I did deal with some of the individuals and folks with that disease and it's to honor grandpa, them, and anyone, any member of the family or friendships who has to deal with it. It can be beautiful, it can be scary, but I hope, I hope that it does not have to be always scary and always ugly for you, for them. Uh, so, I use it highly respectfully. I honor people and myself. I respect and give respect. And if it's taken away, it's taken away. Humanity is weird that way. If it's never given or deserved by them, then it never is. I've learned to deal with that. Uh, I also operate the AO, A slash O capitalized, abounding oddities, AO capitalized, squished together. I operate the Rummage and Vintage Menagerie of Parsons, Kansas, where I hold once a month uh, two day rummage sales inside my home. And I hope to have that upstairs too. Right now I have it in my entryway and my utility room. And I enjoy it. Uh, there are many aspects that I also have been operational within and still are all a part of my business sense, my life, my past. And history is what I'm about. There is a private group here, and it is highly private, um, and I won't speak of it, it is called silently. And there will be many aspects of the DDP online here. It is deep-dimension with an I, di-productions.com. Phone number 620-717-1686 and I carry that with me. I have it 24-7 and I am not afraid to wake up to answer a phone if it wakes me up. I sleep next to it so normally it does. Uh, my address 1700 Parsons, Kansas. I'm sorry. 1700 North Boulevard, Parsons, Kansas, 67357, the United States of America, brothers and sisters. And I'm a proud American. Um, I do hold the fact that our young men and women of the services, the police, the fire brigades, the medical folks, everybody else works for America, gives for America, even our laborers. They are America. And I'm proud to have been one. I am disabled due to diabetes and uh, another reason I use dementia, because dementia alone is no fun, is because last year I was doing successful Facebook group live auctions. I had a, 
a growing number of followers and my diabetes and my past protection of anybody if they deserve it. Uh, mainly my diabetes caused me to lose a large part of my brain uh, function. And it was almost like some aliens came in and overnight gave me a brain transplant. I lost most followers and I'm sorry to them for that because I understand why I would rant uh, and I would talk about one item for I mean I, I could only sell maybe six to twelve items an hour I would have walked away too honestly so no harm no foul I retaught my brain and myself I have Medical science gave me answers to why this was happening, that it wasn't early onset dementia or early onset mania, anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the seventh or eighth or ninth take. <coughs> so, uh, but they aren't able to help me retrain myself, which I'm good at. Uh, so, I'm back. I still have moments where I forget names or faces. Rarer and rarer. And I'm happy for that because I love folks. I love people. Most of humanity, a lot of them are trash. A lot of them are not my type. They don't fit in my life. I don't fit in theirs. A lot of them, especially a lot of collectors are just plain folks. That's great. I used sir and ma'am and I still do. I use thank you. I open doors. I say thank you if somebody opens the door for me. And in Parsons, Kansas, that happens. A lot. And it amazes me every time. I take pride in my honesty. And transferring information and history, if known by me, or if I can research it, to any prospective owners or new owners. Which means that many collectors, many viewers, will not like my uh, site or my cell site because I do give history, whether it's in pictures or a typed statement, whether it's a sentence long or paragraphs long. If I know the history, I define it. If I know and can see or feel the history or the character or damages, I define it in photo or words. Um, and this can become too much for some people and they just back off and that's okay. I won't change, neither will they, and I guess I'm here because I love selling, I love offering information, and here I own it, it doesn't cost much. I'm not paying eBay or Facebook, I'm not paying Facebook by people ignoring me because of my descriptive techniques. So, you know, if you're here and you, you enjoy it, or if you don't, leave me a message or a comment, an open comment. Uh, I, I would love that. You don't know how much. I guess next, I want to take off my hat and glasses. I believe in eyes and uh, stances, gestures, features intonations, whether it's in person or online. That's why this video is so important to me. Offering this woman's blouse. No, I'm not that way. I just like to have fun. And this woman's blouse is perfect for this proof that if you don't like fun, if you don't like descriptive natures, you don't want to be here, folks. But if you do put up with me, I appreciate it. I really do.
it will mean more to me than you can, I'm sorry, than you can ever imagine. Um, I am an open book. I give respect, I give respect. And if the people can't give it or get it, and I feel I've earned it and they haven't, that's okay, that's their life. I don't have to put up with it. Even if they're a buyer, I don't care. I mean, I care, but I just soon everybody show respect <laughs> and honor. So at this stage, I want to thank the honorable, serving, discharged, wounded, dead, service people, whether that's military, fire, uh, legal, like police and sheriffs, things like that, um, health care workers, anybody who um, donates for money, of course, donates their beliefs to America, to the world. Because we can still, and we do still, represent something in this world, not just in America to people like me. If you're not proud of America, you don't want to be here. Because I will show it all over the place. You diss America here, I will show that to you. That's a promise. I'm not some left ring, white ring, part of the same old vulture. I'm just a man who was raised by an Army, Navy, Air Force, Southern preacher. Partially raised. Time on occasion. And I learned a lot from that man. I respect him for it. He's my dad. My blood father. And the fact is, I was raised by a single mother because of the divorce. And, oh my goodness, if it wasn't for that lady last year, I would have been dead. And I am serious. That lady, when we were young kids, she worked three jobs to get us more. And she succeeded. Sorry. I am an open book. I do get emotional. So what? Everybody should. Especially when it's beauty. Or ugly. I describe crazy time. I do. As I said. I love that aspect of me. I want this video, even before I put anything out, probably next week, because I've got to set up a shop on my present Wix site, which needs cleaned up. It's a free site. I bought into the shop today. It's taken since 2000 and no, 1998 working deep dementia. A year or two ago, it became deep dementia productions. I design, create, think of, invent uh, historic, historically accurate items. And just fun, weird items. Some, most of it is family oriented and adult themes. A lot of it will be even kid oriented, mostly. Some of it, less of it, will be adult themed on the minor side. And there will be an occasional. Uh, adult themed on the heavier side, but that's because it's making a statement. 
and I won't get into those. Um, but they will all be signed. I am not a perfectionist. They will all have COA that I create. And when I say I'm not a perfectionist, I love character of broken or damaged toys, broken or damaged items, broken or damaged history. And almost all damp history is broken or damaged. To the victor goes the spoils, including history. Not to the history goes the history. History is seldom reality. I argued every time a teacher wanted me to say Columbus discovered America. Every time. They finally would accept me for that fact. I still didn't get an A plus when I used that. In fact, I usually got B's, C's, and some D's. Oh well. I dropped out of school in 10th and a half grade or 11th and a half or something. I got my GED within months. I went to college within months of that the same year. I do not have a degree in anything I didn't want a degree in. But I do want this video up front uh, over the next tonight or tomorrow on my Wix. Deep dash dimension D I dash productions dot com. I gave you my address, I think, 1700 North Boulevard, Tulsa, Kansas. Go west on North Boulevard, right at the livestock yards on 16th Street towards Walmart, but closer to Parsons than Walmart on the livestock side. Uh, and stop at the Ugly Greenhouse by the bridge, by the creek. I call it the Ugly Greenhouse by the creek, and she loves it. And I'm sorry, my property. I have to use that term. I am not. I, I am 100% pro uh, female acceptance. Uh, the acceptance of all colors. I don't like religions, but they are. They. So many of them can be beautiful parts of our society. So many of them who are not of religions are some of the ugliest too. But so are religionists. So um, there's a lot I could say. Um, I want this video because not only does it show what I might bring in, which is normally not something like this. It's normally new old stock, antiques, collectibles, or vintage. And it, it can be any aspect of those, any genre, any sub-genre. And if it can be found in this section of the state, Missouri or Oklahoma sections, and it's worth buying because it's good, it's quality, it's working, it's clean, or I can clean it up and prove it's working because I won't sell non-working or overtly damaged unless I define it or it is, I hate using the term rare, but I ran across some great rare items here. I, if I use the term, I will normally say hard to find, but if I use the term rare, it's a little bit more than hard to find and may be impossible to find within the normal life. Uh, except maybe one during your life. Um, I don't believe in terminology like that. 
I don't believe in cut and dry. And, well, this is what it is. No. It's more than that. It's a part of something somebody made, something somebody might have played with, cherished, loved, needed, wanted, used. And if it was, it's part of what I might be able to offer sooner or later. I believe that's all except one thing. I want to introduce you to a group and song that Mr. L.R. Baggs and his professional team worked with me and gave me direct permission to use in any way I see fit in my personal or business life, online, offline reality. And the song, Barn Burning by Gangsta Grass. Now, I won't play the whole thing because I'm getting ready to go off. I love this. It has a story that I can build through. It strengthened me last October. And I started working towards getting the rights to use it. Uh, I believe in February. And in April or May, I finally got the rights. So thank you, Mr. Baggs, and thank you to the secretary and the chairman, and this is part of my brain thing that I still deal with names, but he was instrumental. Thank you. Thank you, Gangster Grass. Folks, let me see. Aho, peace out. Find the shut off button. There we go.